Hi, good morning. It's Relax and Paint again, and I am going to do a bunny that's really cute. I have to tell you that um, these little bunnies can be year round. They don't just have to be Easter. It can be a garden, garden painting, but I was in the mood to, to do a rabbit. And so I want you to see which rabbit I'm going to do. And um, we're going to get some paint for like a clay pot. And so I could use coffee latte and put some browns in it. And so I've got, we're using multimedia paint, folk art multimedia, by the way. So that's going to give you a lot of interesting um, avenues to use the paint because it goes on um, indoor, outdoor, glass, metal, ceramic, multi-surface means it, it goes, I said multimedia is folk art multi-surface and it goes on a multitude of surfaces. Um, not not a, a flexible plastic, but um, really a lot of surfaces. So I'm excited about sharing that with you. And um, I can make it bright or we can make it, um, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of aqua um, with some teal for the pot just to, but it could be like a terracotta pot too. So with the uh, coffee latte, that's what I was telling you then. And um, I will put some flowers in it also. And I think I'll, um, we've got some pinks and some Juneberry. So let's look at magenta. So magenta is a color and I'm gonna get some floating medium. I've got white out here. So I'm getting all ready so that we can have a fun time together. So I'm gonna go to the overhead and um, we are gonna just start painting. Does that sound good? Thank you for joining me today. I hope uh, whether you're really early or you just catch it later in the day, you'll think it's fun. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get um, my little inexpensive Bic um, mechanical pencil. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit darker so you can see. I'm first of all deciding the size I want for the pot. All right, so I'm gonna straighten this a little bit. All right, so say here's your pot, all right? And I want a high band on here. And so if you like, it's gonna be his butt coming into the pot. So I'm gonna come on down from here, all right? And decide how deep I want it, okay? So then I can erase in here later where I want the, the little feet to go, but I'm going to decide a little bit, uh, almost to the edge, I'm going to do this little bottom coming in to the pot. And we're going to scruffy a tail that's higher. All right. So then right here we're gonna do a little bit like you know how the light bulb top is right there and then we come out say we're going to do the light bulb itself all right but i'm going to put some toes and all in here so we're gonna these already have a white eraser this one's gray but it erases like the white so we've got this big toe his big toe on this one. And before I get started on the bunny, I want to put some of the greenery on the back. So how simple is that? I know you guys can do that with me. Okay. Even if you think you can't draw. All right. Now you can screenshot right now the screen and save this and then print it out, actually. All right. So let's put some green. We need some bright green. So let's do some citrus green. And I put a little bit of sap there, but um, we want, we can even use a little bit of lime green, or I could use a citrus with some of the aqua that would be pretty too. All right, so I'm gonna pull out a three quarter, a 12. I'm kind of mixing the two brushes. So let me get 
This is a 16, where's our 12? Um, I've been very busy painting. I don't know about you guys, but I hope you guys are jumping in and getting a lot done, uh, especially during this season. It's kind of fun during the Easter season. Um, there we are. I'm going to go to my standard green handle. And these uh, lavender brushes, you can see on practice strokes, these are the brushes that are my signature brushes. It's the best brushes I have. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I wet it, I dried it off. I'm going to grab some medium and let's get some citrus and some green and kind of see how that looks. All right, so what's going to happen is I'm going to do a little bit of leading with the dark edge of the brush. I'm going to put, come in here and put a few little sprigs of greenery. It might be fern, but it just might be just some greenery. All right. And then I'm going to come in on this side and I'm going to do a little bit of a leaf. And so what I want to share with you is that I'm using some art paper right now. And art paper means you have to use a lot of medium. And so it's not always my favorite, but it works quick on here because I can um, take and paint very quickly without base coating. Um, and I like using black quite often. But what I want you to see on here is this can be painted. This little project can be on a, a glass vase. It can be on a greeting, as small as a greeting card. Look, I can go right back over it if I don't like some. Um, it can also be on any canvas that you want to pick up. Pieces of wood. So what you would do is just shrink down the pattern. So I want this bright. Do you see this? All right. Now, sometimes I've got lots of paint on here. But what I want you to see is I might dip a teeny bit of medium just on the one corner because I already put medium in here. But see, I'm going to come up here and then draw a stem in the middle. All right. This one, if, if I see that one's off kilter, that's how easy it is to fix it. And then you chisel edge a little stem inside of that. All right. Now, these little guys up here. I'm gonna uh, have to use a smaller brush. So I'm gonna get one of my flats and I have twos and sixes. This, uh, where are they? There is a six flat. All right, but I have a two flat too. I was just gonna show you where are those little guys. Like this is another six. All right, and look at the two, all right. Let's use the two because it'll be a little bit smaller. All right, so look, I can come in here with the citrus. I can even add, so let's add a little bit of teal to it. Citrus and teal. And I do like to add some medium. Okay, now what I'm doing here is, I'm gonna put it up so you can see it. I'm pushing and lifting and doing these little teeny sprigs of leaves and I'm kind of going on a chisel. All right, so they usually look better on some of these if they're exactly across from each other, but I used to say never put them exactly across from each other. <laughs> but some of these little pieces of greenery, they look like that. All right, so I can go along here and just chisel, make it thinner. So you can have some thinner and some wider, like this full chisel lift. Oops. All right, so I'm coming exactly across. Now, what makes this interesting, if you'll notice, that I am alternating the colors I pick up. So some are darker, get that one better. Some, so I've got citrus and I go pick up some teal. All right, so push and lift. All right. And these are, these can also be painted if you've painted with me much. 
you know, sometimes I like to put the flowers first and then come get this, the greenery. See, I'm doing, see the, the, I think it's cool to have different shades. See that? All right, so before I put any more greenery, I'm going to take my 16 and I want to do some pink flowers. So I'm gonna pick up, work this in. I don't, when I have a lot of paint, I really don't usually need medium, but sometimes you do. All right, so a little bit of white. All right, so let's come out over here. And I'm coming down. So if I if I take the bunny over any of this, it works good too. So now you see me coming down. Let me do that again. Uh, I didn't get yellow. I'm gonna put a little bit of daffodil yellow because a touch of that will give some nice look to uh, tulips. Okay, so I just put a teeny bit. I just covered my mic. <laughs> with paint what's new all right see a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow okay so i can do this easier if i turn it this way see i'm going up the side and then push down and stand up okay now i should have done this one back here first but i'm just going to add a little bit of yellow back there. And since I had this white, I can add just a little bit of yellow to it. Okay. Now I do like to put a teeny bit oop, 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 of, of a petal coming down. All right. So I love doing tulips. I'm going to show you that we can come right in here. Now this green is still pretty wet. So put any flowers, you can have all blue. You can uh, have purples, whatever color makes you happy. All right, so I want this underneath, so I guess I should have painted this one first. Push, stand up on the chisel and turn. So look how pretty and rich those colors are. All right, so I am going to bring a little bit of one over here and then we'll put the tail. All right. Let's come right up here again. Because that green is pretty wet, I gotta put a lot. We can do wet on wet, did you know that? But we just have to pick up a lot of paint. All right, so he is just digging right in there. So I'm going to come over to the other side and pick up, I don't know if you all probably can't see this, but I'm going to pick up some medium and a little bit more paint. It's got a little bit of yellow in it. Okay, so we can do a little bud here where I'm going to cross across this a couple of times. And this will just look like a bud that's not quite open. And then one more we can make slide, wiggle, and stand up. Wait a minute. Let's put one in the middle first. Then, then we can go over this guy. Push hard and roll the chisel. And so I can come right here and push hard and roll it back that way. So you have that little bit of uh, peeping from under there. So that kind of fun. But what I am going to do first before we make the next step is I am going to do a couple of tulip leaves. Right? And wet on wet. So we're going right on top of that. I'm going to pick up citrus with a 12 and I'm going to go back and forth 
with the teal. And let's get a little white there. That makes it bright. Okay. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to come right in here and push and get one leaf in there. And then we're going to come right across here because he's jumping in the middle of it. And that's kind of scary. People are afraid to paint right over what they just painted, but it's okay. There we go. See that teal's in there, the bright green. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of one here. Isn't that kind of cute? I don't know. I hope you're having fun with this today. I think it's a good little Easter project or year-round garden bunny. He's a garden bunny. I've done lots of garden. I put a few books where I put garden bunnies in it. Okay, so let's go down here and I'm going to pick up some medium and we're just going to go in here and put aqua first so i'm going to come all the way up here and i sometimes like to get this watercolor effect so we're going to go along here chisel chisel across the bottom just a fun little relaxing project Get some more medium because that will help it move. And then it's, I'm going to kind of make it a little patchy looking because it's a little distressed from being in the garden. Okay, so that's when I said I'm going to put a little bit of coffee latte here and there. Okay, then we'll let that dry a little bit, but I can also put touches of white. Okay, just rub it in a little bit so it's not so harsh. Okay, looks just a little worn. Then I'm gonna pick up more of the aqua and I'm gonna come down along his little feet here. And let's come right in here. And so it is the uh, flowers laying over that pot there, but over here, you don't see that. It comes all the way up and then over. Okay. So I want this over here about the same as this over here. So it's got to come a little bit more. We're just kind of making this up as we go. So um, that is going to be a little bit weathered up here, but after this dries, I'm gonna wash this out and see, I might go ahead and put a little bit of, I don't really want medium because it's pretty wet. So I'm gonna come under here with teal and we're gonna come right across here. Okay, so see how you got the dark under there? And then we're gonna do some teal right in here. All right, but look, I didn't put the aqua between here. We gotta put a little bit of that in here. Okay, now we can come back and shade more, but doesn't that look good? Uh, we can put a little bit down here at the bottom. All right, so this is like a watercolor paper, so I've got to put tons of paint. Now, what I want to show you is we're going to do the back bunny, um, his, his bottom end, okay? So I'm going to take my medium scruffy, All right? So I'm going to come across here, and this has a flower handle because it's in my signature 13-piece most used brushes. All right, so I'm going to pounce around here. That's how you make him fluffy. Okay. All right, and then we're going to come right along here. We're going to go ahead and put in between his feet. 
And you can add little bits of gray if you want. Some bunnies are really fuzzy, some are less. But it, this is wet on wet, so you can put heavy paint. As long as you're doing heavy, it won't pick up what's down there. And I'm gonna do a smoother body, but um, I can do just a teeny bit of teal. I'm gonna pounce it a little bit, and that's a little bit too much. I'm sorry. There we go, see just a little bit of teal, just a little touch. And so I brought a little bit along here, but I'm gonna do it underneath his, his tail right here. Or you can use a gray, whichever makes you happy. All right, and I'm going to put in a teeny bit more right in here and on this side of his little foot or big feet, right? So we just put a little bit of that. Okay, so I don't wanna quite wet that yet because you gotta have a dry scruffy to start with. I didn't think I told you, you don't wet that guy. All right, so now I want you to see that we're going to come up smoothly. I've got an eight flat, or is this a six? This is an eight, an eight flat. And I'm gonna come down and make a couple little toe areas. And then we fill in a little bit more here. It's already looking a little cute, isn't it? Okay, so this has to dry before we put the little pads on the foot, his big feet. Okay, so see, I'm pulling the paint and I'm making it a heavier white ridge. I'm not trying to do it smooth. I'm just going right along here and we come back down. Now, uh, when we add the pink and all, we might can add some little shading around it, but it's gotta dry. Oops. It just came out too big there. I'll compensate, right? <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to get the pouncing with the same brush. And I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. You can, you can pounce a little heavier, but you just need to be real careful that you don't get too big. But I want you to see how when I came in here with the white, See how the blue stands out and gives you definition between the two. Okay. Now, while that's drying just a little bit, oh, I put the scruffy in, so I better not need it. <laughs> I put it in the water. All right, so while that's drying a little bit, I want you to see, I can come down here where this would be a little bit of a table or the ground like it's outside. I can come up a little bit. This is coffee latte. It's a great color. All right, so you want just a little bit of a watercolor effect out here. All right, and we can take like a little liner brush and, and you have to use water, you can't use medium. But I, all the medium is supposed to do is make this brush uh, make it the painting, it feels like you're using butter, like you get butter in the paint. So this is my two script liner. And I'm gonna put a little bit of white. There we go. So I used inky for most of the grass. And then I came in and got some thick citrus. and added it in here. So we're gonna take a little bit of teal. Right, now what you can do is take some teal and some coffee latte, tap that in there a little bit. So coffee latte and teal. 
and this is in front some. All right, and just have that little bit. And one thing I do like to do is I can take my little kiss tool that we have on our website. It's very inexpensive, but it's rubber and it's shaped like a kiss. So we call it a kiss tool. And I can come right down here. I'm getting fresh white paint. Go one, two, three. As I get smaller, it see. Put some dots, and you can also put some colored dots. And you can use any color of background paper here. See how I'm kind of making sure there's some green behind it. So that's just giving you a little bit, but not too much of uh, some little color in there even if it is white. <laughs> okay, so is it kind of cute? Now, all we have to do to finish him up is I'm taking the six and I'm gonna pick up the pink. This is magenta, but I'm gonna stroke through some white. I have a little bit of white with the pink on the other side with the outside the pink the whites on the inside and so then i'm going to come right here we'll do the same thing over here now i'm going to come back and get a little bit more magenta there we go all right and then we have a little paw here, a bigger paw. Uh, there we go. And then the last one is just a little bit bigger. So we do the bigger one here. I'm gonna put a little bit of white there and white here. Okay, and then we can keep picking up the pink. A little bit here. And a little bit there. All right, so is that kind of cute? All right, the only thing that I think I needed is a link. I do think I need a little bit of gray so you can see the definition, but we do want this to dry for a minute. So I'm just gonna dry it real quick. So I don't know how dry that is, but I'm gonna go ahead and work with some medium with some gray. Okay, so I had to stop for a minute, but I did um, start putting gray around there. So I just want you to see I'm taking medium on the six and I'm coming up to the gray and I, I just wanna come right around here. And then if it gets to be too much gray, like that's a lot of gray. I can wipe my brush and I can come right back in here and take some off. Because if this is dry, it's got a sealer in it. So you can keep going around like that. And then I just put a teeny bit of gray right at each one of these spots. Okay. So there you go. Sign it and share it or you can take this and go make copies of cards and pass them out to your friends and family and there you go so i'd go a little bit darker under there maybe still if you want to thank you guys i hope you enjoy please post on donna dewberry's official 
One Stroke Group on Facebook. Come join us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.